The next item is item number 28, application for a certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Brooklyn, docket number 15 0431, block 189, lot 36, 122 Bond Street in the Borough Hill Historic District, a Greek Revival style row house built in 1854. And this is an application to alter a sidewalk to enlarge a tree pit. Good morning, Commissioners. Vernon Rogers, Preservation Department staff. This application is for 122 Bond Street. It will be coming up soon. It is another sidewalk replacement. Currently, there is an existing bluestone sidewalk. It's not actually original to the site. It was installed after designation. They had uh, previously had bluestone at designation and had gotten a violation and replaced it. So the existing bluestone is replacement. But you can see there's an existing tree that's pushing up the roots and they're asking to enlarge the tree pit in order to maintain a 40, 40 inch width to reach ADA. In this location, they're doing a slightly atypical condition. So we're gonna show that to you. This is the existing condition. Here you can see the tree pit, which will need to be enlarged. This is the size of the tree pit as proposed. Uh, there is existing three foot pavers along the areaway side of the sidewalk. They're proposing to retain those, but in order to reach that, the required width to reach reach ADA compliance. They're also proposing a five inch strip in this location. The applicant is asking that they be given the option to install either bluestone or concrete in this location after they kind of discuss this with the applicant. The concern is um, the bluestone, if it's installed, could whether or not it would be able to kind of last over long term, but they also have not spoken to the owner yet about whether or not concrete is an acceptable option to them, so they're asking for an either or if possible. Um, the applicant is here to discuss the proposal further. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, no, I, the reason why we're asking for yeah. permission is that we were just told five minutes ago in the hallway that I didn't know until five minutes ago yeah. that this five inch was a problem for all of you. So up till now, we just, we, you know, this was the proposal resetting yeah. with existing bluestone. So that's why when we were told, um, that that they're concerned. Um, I think your main, primary concern is that that might not hold up over time because it's such a narrow strip and cracking. And so they said, well, you know, suggested us laying concrete. And I said that that will likely increase the cost to the homeowner. And of course, they'll do whatever they're mandated to do. But um, I wish I could have the opportunity to present to the homeowner that you are recommend. You know, what you're re recommending is going to increase their cost. Um, Mm -hmm. Especially since it's such a narrow strip of concrete, the kind of the less you use, the more it is, you know, per amount. And um, so that's why we're requesting yeah. that option to give them, say, you know, putting flagstone bluestone in now will be a little less expensive right now, but might increase your cost in the long term if you have to replace it. Um, putting concrete in now will be a little more costly now, but could save you money in the long term. So, you know, we are requesting that, but if you say no and you tell us we have to use one or the other, then, then we'll just do that. Okay. So, so the proposal as is presented now is that the concrete is just that strip, the five inch strip. Well, I'm not proposing. Wait, I okay, no. There, no. Our no concrete. proposal was it's just blue stone. Okay. Okay. Just blue stone. Okay. okay. So, we had a long conversation with them. The reason I asked the question in the last uh, series of, of um, sidewalk applications, if I may have with the requirements for that width is. Mm -hmm. So what the, the, the issue is that they have those pavers that are the larger oh. pavers, and so they're trying to make up the difference between the, 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 the minimum treatment that Parks wants um, mm -hmm. and the need to have an ADA, you know, compliant mm -hmm. sidewalk. So you have this weird five-inch condition at the edge, and so the staff comments we've talked about maybe doing something different didn't really, re under, we didn't understand that the requirement for that, right. for that width, and in addition, we have some, some of us have thought about putting some sort of like sort of cobble or something along there, but that probably doesn't meet ADA either. So, mm -hmm. so the, the result is we felt that that um, in this case, either bluestone paver for that five inch little strip or a concrete thing, which either one could be appropriate, and, and that we <coughs> felt like she would like the flexibility to, to have that approval so they could do whatever makes sense from the owner's standpoint. Yeah. How, however, the, now, the yes. applicant is currently proposing uh, the bluestone. That was what they came in with, with the paper, right? I mean, they were prepared to do that. The reason we did that is because we knew from the outset, we were told from the outset, you know, you have an existing yes. bluestone, you have to retain so the bluestone. 
We can do either one. Is that what you recommend? That's right. We can approve either or right. either or, and then work with the staff to implement it. That's right. That that be the case? To address this odd yeah. Right. Oh, I understand. And, um, yeah. Community Board 2 recommends uh, approval of this application as well. Okay, so. Um, I, I don't know. I assume. So what is the dimension that you get? Is it, you don't get the 30. Five inches, right? 30. 30. Five inches. It's a five inch strip here. Oh, I see. So it's just okay. I see it now. Yeah. Yes. I, I, okay. I see it now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Discussion, Michael. Yeah. If, if I can add even yeah. one more complication to this, um, I, I would be, um, I'm okay with, with either possibility. What, but if, if I was going to uh, use bluestone in that strip, what you might consider doing is not having each of those bluestone pieces match the width of, of each of quarter. those pavers, but That's perhaps right. be longer so you'll have a more substantial piece of stone and there's less likelihood for seasonal movement. That's so. John. <laughs> I'm not allowed to speak, I guess. No, it, it's, no. it's um, fine. It's going a good way for you. Okay. As soon as you're finished, you can, we, we're finished, you can work with the staff to implement it. Joan, please. Yeah, I go along with that. Okay. Uh, you go along with what? With the fact that putting a longer piece. If necessary. Of and I'm okay with both. But yes. he's o are you, you're okay with. Widths, yes, I understand, Joan. <laughs> I understand, Joan. What I was asking is, are you okay with the concrete as well? That's what I was well, asking. I would prefer the blue stone, but I, you know, if after they sat down and they went through right. it and they found out that it was too fragile, I would be willing to go along with the concrete that would match because we've done okay. that in the past. Yeah, okay. thank you. Um, I, I am in favor of either, and I just think working with the staff that they can determine that. You need a six. Did you hear the whole thing? Okay. okay. I, yeah, I, I could do either. Okay. I, um, I could go along with either one, and I do also prefer the bluestone if right. possible, right. And, and I agree with Michael's suggestion to make it more solid, but I can go with the okay. concrete if that's necessary. Uh, hearing will be closed. Motion second. Joan, please, if you do sure. this. In thank you. Okay. Microphone on. In the matter of 122 Bond Street, Barham Hill Historic District, a Greek Revival style row house built in 1854, application is to alter the sidewalk to enlarge a tree pit, uh, noting that the presence of bluestone sidewalks contributes to the special architectural and historic character of the Barham Hill Historic District, that the original sidewalks at most buildings in this district were bluestone, however few within this street remain and that the existing bluestone paving installed in 1998 is not original to this sidewalk, I recommend approval finding that the bluestone to be removed will be limited to a minimum amount necessary to protect the health of the tree and will help to protect the paving from displacement and repair. Uh, that the majority of the bluestone flags will be retained and reset on a non-cement base with hand-tight joints. That the bluestone flags to remain will be as closely as possible will as closely as possible maintain the existing paving pattern and that the proposed work is supportive of the long-term preservation of the bluestone sidewalks and significant features of the Borum Hill Historic District. However, uh, that five-foot band uh, could be done in either a longer piece of bluestone, which might take up two widths of paver or, or whatever is appropriate, or um, if it's found that it needs to be done with concrete, we, we suggest that the applicant work with the staff to make those final determinations. Okay, good. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Approved. Thank you. Next item is item.